there, you wayward sinner. Do you like blood, violence, and depravity? Of course you do. That's why you're in hell. But what would you say if I told you that there was a place to stay that had none of that? Welcome to the Has Been Hotel, a misguided path to redemption, founded five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter, Charlotte Morningstar. Come place your fate in her inexperienced hands while she tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing you. Here we offer fun things such as somewhat functional staff and 24-hour pest control, custom rooms. And just look at this trendy parlor. Enjoy riveting conversation with our singular resident. Wow, all this and more at the Hasbin Hotel. Your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here. day. We'll get there. But I, I do need you 
you to remove those weapons. So, how about I'll help you out and let me just set this down, right? Okay, that's one. And let's see, there was the one that I spied um, second. Let me just grab that. This really large knife. Wow, you know what? I don't need to open it. We can see that this is a very, um, wow, for stabbing the bigger guys. Yeah, I can see how you would think that you would need this, but here we have trust and we trust each other because we're all a family. So we don't need things like giant knives. So I'm going to set this down and let's see. Um, there's, oh, I spy this little guy right here. Um, this is gorgeous, if I do say so myself. Really, where did you get this? You stole it. Okay. Hmm, we don't do that anymore. No, um, the, the weapons plus the stealing. I know it's a little like what do they do anything here but I you'll see um so yes uh is this an antique are you are you really is it okay if I set it aside and save it for later you know honestly when we're done you won't even really want it I promise you yeah wow but really really pretty that's amazing. Thank you for sharing um, that story with me. Yeah. Um, oh, so I know, yes, this one, I, I know why you would think that you could keep it, but um, so it can be considered a weapon. And well, frankly, I know that you're not doing any construction. So is it okay if I just gonna... Um, yeah, so you see what I mean by this is definitely used for building. Um, <laughs> agreed. But I don't, you know, with everything going on, plus the other weapons, you see how it, I would think he would be using this as a weapon? Yes, and I do see dried blood on it. I don't know if, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down, okay? And I, let's see, I don't know if I see any other weapons, but now is the time. Is there anything that you have on you, anything left? Remember, telling the truth, that you think could potentially hurt someone in some way, or that you could use to maim and or disembowel and all that. Really? Oh, show me. Yeah, so a lighter. Okay, this is one of those just like the hammer where it's right on the edge there. Most people, um, well, demons, not demons, but well, reformed sinners, we could potentially have this on us, but it wouldn't be a big deal. But you, um, it's really a good thing that you showed me this. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Um, arson is a no. Yeah. That was a really good thought. Yes. See, you're already learning. Oh. Perfect. So, weapon free and ready to go. Oh, oh, um, what is in your pocket? If you don't mind if I just take a look. Oh, oops, um, what is this? Oh, no drugs either, sorry. <laughs> you know, flower looks very similar and it's used to make 
cookies, which are just as addicting in my opinion. You're really upset about that. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside. Okay, next lesson, self-care. How can we respect others if we don't even respect ourselves? Now I noticed you're covered in dirt and blood. That is not, um, that's so, uh, we, um, if we stand still, I'll show you how to wash it off of your face. Okay? So, I'm just going to... Alrighty, this is a sponge. Now, I'm going to use it squish, squish, to wipe all of the dirt and blood off of your face. And, you know, there's the soot and brimstone and all that. Okay, ready? There we go. That's not too bad. It's gonna get this area over here. Yeah, I see that. Wow, there's a lot of dirt. Oh, yeah, let's get this side. just recently. Okay, yeah. Just outside. Minutes before you walked in. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's fine. Um, okay, we just, um, <laughs> we don't, we don't do that now, right? And we know better than to not pick a fight with strangers for for the fun of it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Um, you know what's fun? Making friends. So much fun. I'd much rather spend my day doing that. And friends help friends when they're in need. Just like I'm about to fix your wound here. Okay? So... Okay. Clean that up really good. And, um, there is some brimstone stuck in there. We need to remove that. Grab my tweezers. Okay. And I'm just going to go pluck, 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 pluck out the brimstone. giving no reaction and you're still giving no reaction pluck, pluck, pluck. do you feel the pain or is it uncomfortable at all you're used to it okay well that is going to be a thing of the past here at the Hasbun Hotel <laughs> okay pluck, pluck, pluck. Pluck, 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 pluck. Pluck. just going Okay, now let's 
it is a little deep so I'm going to put on one of those butterfly stitches um, well not deep enough to have real stitches but it's just gonna it's like a band-aid you'll see one of these seen this before? How do you normally deal with your wounds? You rub dirt in them. That is a way. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, if it worked for you before, that's great. Um, but this is actually, I promise you, it will heal so fast. You're gonna be so amazed. Alright. Just gonna case that you, you know, don't bleed all over the place. <laughs> I'm gonna add another larger band-aid looking thing and it's going to make sure that it catches any blood. since you're all new to this. Yeah, no dirt, please. Um, if you could just not, uh, that would be great. you. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to rush you. Uh, I... You know what? I think we should brush your hair. Uh, except there's... something... What is that? If you don't mind, I'm just... something I want to pick out. Um, it's moving a little bit. For you, bugs. <laughs> I clean. Sorry. That's our mate, Nifty. We're about 80% sure she's harmless. <laughs> Sometimes I kill mother bugs in front of their children as a warning to others. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is that? Sorry, one moment. Is this nifty why are you holding a scalp nifty please I just want okay as you were so anyway 
Anyway, um, how about we pick the rest of those cockroaches out of your hair? What do you think? Sounds great. Okay, I'm going to start by this one over here. Seems to be over this way on the side of your head here. your hair. strong words and that's all right because you're probably feeling frustrated yeah it's okay i can take it um but we do try to brush our hair almost every day that'd be really great um if you skip a day maybe one or two that's fine sing. Do you like to sing? No? Okay, that's fine. We all have our own hobbies. Mm -hmm. And you might need to find 
find some new ones and that's okay we're discovering who you are when you aren't a sinner and that's all a part of the process what's that? get me out of here no, well, we did just start the process so let's try not to give up, okay? Mm -hmm. we're gonna hold on yeah, we're gonna do this you're gonna just give it a few days you're gonna love it yeah Lovely, nice and combed through. So soft and nice. Who knew all of that was down there? See, you never would have known if, if, if we didn't practice self-care. You must feel a little bit better, right? Okay, that's fine. Take it. <sighs> Wonderful. <laughs> just going to push a little bit of something on your base there. Just gonna get that. Sometimes there are things that require a shower, which is totally fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'm not gonna make you start taking showers all the time now, but it would help. I think you're really going to love it here. Yeah. We have another resident, like you, um, two others actually. We have Serpentis. He likes to build. Um, and then there's Angel. So sweet. Such a sweetheart. Really. Um, and then there's, um, well, he met Nifty. And then Husk, he's at the bar. Um, the radio demon, yes. He is here, but we're not scared of him. He's actually on the inside a big teddy bear, so no need to be scared. And then Faggy, yes, the one that tried to attack you. I, I love her. Um, yes, uh, who else? Well, and then all the other residents that are going to be here after, you know, I mean, it's the first day. Well, it's not the first day, but it's your first day. But there will be other first days for other people. And I'm thinking that this whole hotel is going to be filled soon. So you're going to have so many friends in order. just so many possibilities. This is really the start of something new for you and for this hotel and for me. <laughs> okay, um, okay, 
because I can see you improving so much already. I was thinking I would let you have your lighter back, okay? Trust. But remember, no arson, no starting things on fire, no starting people on fire, just, you know, normal things like lighting candles, no smoking. Well, okay, but maybe we could try and cut that habit, but there you go. Now I'll have you take that and just stand there holding it without lighting something on fire. And wow, you are doing so good. I can see the transformation already. Um, I can also see that your eye is twitching. Um, is that normal or... And if it is, that's okay. Totally not weird. I'm not pointing it out or anything to, to make you feel... Um... Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> of course. You just got brains in your eye during your stroll here. Yeppers. <laughs> It's best you take the detour to avoid Cannibal Town on the way to Haspen. Just for the future. <laughs> I have some eye drops from the last time that happened to me. It's actually really funny. Such a funny story. <laughs> so when I was... Ooh, you, you saved a little snack from Cannibal Town, I see. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take that from you, if you don't mind. Yeah, so we don't eat this sort of stuff anymore. Oh, oh I know. I'm so sorry. It's a big change. And you'll get used to it, I promise. You know what gets my appetite going? Pancakes. You even add little things like chocolate chips or blueberries um, to the mix. Or sometimes you could add things like bananas. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm just checking you for more eyeballs. I'm gonna check over here. Um, check over on this side. Good, no more eyeballs. Um, so what sort of thing do you like to add to your pancakes? Fingernails. Pancakes? No. Thank you for offering. Um, but we also, we don't have those here. Uh, I'm sorry. How about I put those eye drops in? Okay. Um, before we have a breakdown. <laughs> yeah, you are going to fall in love with all the different things that we have here to eat, and I think that you're going to forget all about fingernails and eyeballs and... Yep, we don't eat that either. Nope. How about we just help you to fall in love with new things? Okay, can you look up a bit? I'm just going to... Um, okay, get okay, ready? Okay, and blink, blink. Okay? Are you alright? Hello? Oh, you're back. Sorry. You started to... Your eyes were glazing over. Is this... I really hope I... And it's not poison, I promise. I just used it the other day. Oh. You were just falling asleep. Well, that's completely fine. Well, it is the end of the day. I know you are obviously tuckered out from all this learning, of course. But something really exciting. Um, we have pillows. That might be new for you. And mattresses. How long has it been since you slept on a mattress? You prefer the ground? Well, that's fine. Well, we do have blankets. If, you know, you could sleep on the ground or on the mattress. Maybe you could get used to the mattress. Yeah, and that could be like a fun new thing, right? Okay, I'm just gonna It's gonna be so exciting. I wonder um, if Nifty, if she's here. Nifty? Nifty? Husk? Husk? Can you please? Can you help me? Um, I need you to show our new guest to their room. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. 
He's such a jokester. <laughs> Ask. He's gonna show you to room. <laughs> Which is... <sighs> it has been so much fun. Um, spending time with you, getting to know you. <sighs> now, get some sleep. Because tomorrow, we are doing trust exercises. <laughs> and then, afterward, we are going to share our feelings. <laughs> So much fun. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, okay. Before you know it, you'll be ready to check out in heaven. I am so proud of you. So proud of you. Okay. Good night. Oh, Angel, no. Bad. No drugs.